Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 554. Obstructive Lung Disease. What is obstructive lung disease? Obstructive lung disease is a category of respiratory disease categorized by airway obstruction. So because in this there is obstruction of the airflow, this results in air trapping within the lungs. What happens to the force vital capacity and the residual volume in obstructive lung disease? In obstructive lung disease, because there is air trapping within the lungs, it makes sense that the residual volume would increase, because residual volume is the air that is left in the lung after maximal expiration. So it makes sense that if you have air trapped within the lungs and it's not able to be expired, it makes sense that the residual volume would increase. We also know that the residual volume and the vital capacity makes the total lung capacity, so if you have an increase in the residual volume, it makes sense that there would be a decrease in the vital capacity. So to summarize that, with obstructive lung disease, there is going to be an increase in the residual volume, or RV, and a decrease in the force vital capacity, or FVC. What does FEV1 stand for? FEV1 stands for Force Expiratory Volume in 1 Second. Describe what happens to the FEV1 and FVC ratio. By looking at the picture on your screen, we already mentioned that there would be a decrease in FVC. So it also makes sense that there would be a decrease in the force expiratory volume in one second, and therefore you would have a decrease in the FEV1 FVC ratio, which is the hallmark finding observed in obstructive lung disease. Describe what happens to the ventilation and perfusion in obstructive lung disease. In obstructive lung disease, because there is a decrease in the vital capacity, this means that there is going to be a decrease in ventilation as well. But perfusion would not be affected and therefore comparing to ventilation, the perfusion would be higher and this would lead to the VQ mismatch. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.